Hello, this is Robbie, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to deal with crap. Crap, crap, crap. <laughs> what does crap mean? Crap means shitty. It means not good enough, not where you want it to be, not as good as you want it to be, not exactly what you aimed for. Crap is just what it is, it's crap. It's that you're not making enough money to take care of your dreams and not even your family is that you're not moving towards your dreams fast enough or even at all is that your body is not where you want it to be or not even moving there is that your relationship is not as good as you want it to be or non-existent how do you deal with crap first thing you need to do with crap is the hardest part but if you do that everything will become much simpler it's take ownership what does taking ownership means ownership taking ownership there's a reason that it sounds very much like taking owner shit and the reason for that is it's your problem whatever is happening in your life it doesn't matter whose fault it is doesn't matter why it happened at the end of the day if it makes you feel bad if it's stopping you from getting to where you want to get it is your problem which means you need to take responsibility for it. If somebody made you angry, he's not the problem. You being angry is the problem. Take ownership of being angry. Don't blame the other person for being angry. If you're not making enough money, don't blame your boss for not making enough money. Say, my problem is I am not making enough money. Take ownership of it. Why? Because when you take ownership, you go from victim to perpetrator. Sorry if this uh, if this kind of clipped out of the the video, but uh, it's basically victim to perpetrator. Meaning, it's not something that happens to me. I did that. I created it. I did it to myself. I'm not a victim. I am my own victim. Maybe I created it for me. If you're in a car crash. I'm not a victim of a car crash. I put myself in a car crash. Even if the other guy is the one who hit you, why was I there at that specific time? Why did it happen? Why am I even going out on, in a car? Why are people not coming to me? Take ownership. And why do you want to take ownership? Why do you want to go from victim to perpetrator? Because once you do that, once you take responsibility, now you actually have the ability to find a solution to your situation. You know, people that all their life, they go from this and then they go, oh, this is not good. And they go there and then they go here and then they go there. They just change directions all the freaking time. They, oh, this relationship was not good. This business was not a good idea. This is not good. This not good. This not good. The reason they're always blaming, they're always going through different stuff. They never actually go with something in their life is because they don't take responsibility. They don't take responsibility for their lack of results, for the, the, for the result that they deem not good, for creating a situation that they don't like. What happens when you take responsibility? You have to find a solution. Because if my boss is not the problem, if I am the problem, I need to find a solution because it's my problem. He's not to blame. If he's to blame, I can't change him. I can't do anything about it. If it's my problem, I can find a solution. I can be creative. I can find something to innovate my way out of my problem. And maybe it means getting up and leaving. That is possible. But first, take responsibility. Realize it's something that I'm doing, something that I can change to fix, to improve, to change the situation. And until you do that, do not make a decision because you're a victim. What happens if you do make a decision? Oh, my boss is a, is a dick and then you quit your job. What happens in that situation is you basically just are a victim now for life because anytime you look back at this decision, you're going to go, oh, it's because of him. He did that. And you're going to make that story stronger and stronger. So don't do that. Don't quit your job. But if you do quit it, quit it because you realize it's not the right place because you took ownership. You realize, oh, I realized that the right thing to do would be to quit because this is not a place where I can grow in, for example, or just solve it. Find a way to actually improve the situation in your job instead of quitting. So 
Don't be a bitch. Deal with crap. Take ownership or owner ownership of your situation. Own your shit. Own your shit. <laughs> Own your shit. Go from being a victim to your own perpetrator. Again, you did it to yourself and then find freaking solution. That's how billionaires think. That's how athletes think. That's how people that achieve think. This is Robbie. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.